This video is sponsored by FlexClip.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to know the easiest way to move an object along a path. Trust me guys it will be very useful when you are doing your personal projects. And it will take just few clicks to get this kind of results. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition first. Give it a name you like. I have two project files that I am going to use here. You can use anything for your practice. I am going to use a road image and a car image. Let's bring the image to the timeline. Adjust the size a little bit. Also let's take the part, where we the road have the more turns. I think this portion of the road has more turns. I am taking the hardest part, so I can show you, how perfectly it works. First, take the pen tool, and create a path which follows the road. Just like this. You can increase the stroke width for better visibility. Anyway, we are going to hide this layer later. Now go to the windows, and down there you will find an option called, Create Null from Path. Click on it, and a tab will open like this. This is an inbuilt extension for After Effects 2018, and later versions. Now open the shape layer, go to Contents, Shape 1, Path 1, then Path. Now make sure you select both path options, and just click on this Trace Path option. A separate null layer will be created after that. Like this. Now if we move towards the timeline, we can see a null pointer moving along the path. Press U, and you will see two keyframes also. If you drag the end keyframe to the right side, you will see the changes on the movement speed of that null pointer. Basically you can adjust the speed with these two keyframes. Now bring the object image. For me I am taking this car image as an object. Let's adjust the car size a little bit. Now try to find a position, where the anchor point of the null layer, and this line is in a straight line with the path. Now we just need to match the both anchor point position. Here I am going to show you, the difference of placing the anchor points, in the different position of the object. Let's place the anchor point on the front of the car. Then rotate the car towards the path. And place the car in which way, the both anchor points match like this. This way, you will get the more accurate result. Now just link this object layer with the null layer. And it's done. Can you see the effect of the placing the anchor point on the front of the car? It seems like the car is dragging. Now, let's place the anchor point in the middle of the car. Make sure you fix the position of the car after changing the position of the anchor point. Now if we play, you can see the car is moving perfectly along the path. Let's talk about today's sponsor, FlexClip.com. This is an online video making website, 
where you can create your own video very easily. Let me show you that. Here you can find lots of template, related to any topic. You can choose any of them, or just click here to start from scratch. Now let's choose a template. Now just click on this plus button to add it to your timeline. From here you can change the color of these elements easily, also you can change the text according to your need. You can change the font also. For these shapes, you can change the animation also. There are lots of animations for these shapes, you can check out these. Also there are lots of elements that you can use. You can find lots of free music from their music library. Also there are lots of stock images and video that you can use for your videos. You can also add multiple screens like these. If you click on this button, you can find lots of different transitions. And after all, just click on this export button, and it will take 1 to 2 minutes to get the video. This is very easy to make video on this website. Make sure to check this out. Let's do a quick recap with two shape layers. Create a new composition. Let's create a path with the pen tool. Just like this, useful for different purpose. Let's create a simple triangle. Let's fill it with color. Open the shape layer, go to path, and trace the path like this. Let's rotate this shape towards the path. And place this in which way the both anchor point match with each other. Place the anchor point wherever you like, but both anchor points should match with each other. Now just link the object layer with the null layer. Select the null layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. And drag the keyframes according to your need. Simple as that. You can apply this technique in many cases. And this is the easiest way to that. I hope you get something new from this video. Make sure you subscribe for this kind of useful tutorials. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.